In this video, I want to prove some basic uh, trig uh, results. Okay, so let's start with the unit circle. So this is your, your y-axis. Uh, this is your y-axis and uh, this is your x-axis. Okay, and let me draw a unit circle. So unit circle, when you say unit circle, it is understood that it's a radius of one. Okay, so this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, and this is your origin. So as it's a unit circle, this is say one comma zero. Coordinate of this would be, the coordinate of this would be minus one comma zero. Minus one comma zero. The coordinate of this would be zero comma one. And the coordinate of this would be uh, zero comma negative one. So let's take any arbitrary point, say x comma y. So if this is point P, which is x comma y. Okay, and then let's draw a right angle triangle. Okay, so this is a right angle triangle. And now we're going to use Pythagoras. So you can say this distance, suppose this is a, let us call this M. So this OM would be X and this would be Y. And this is a unit circle. Okay, so one thing that you can directly say from Pythagoras is X squared plus Y squared is equal to one or one squared, which is one. Okay, this is one thing that we can directly say. Okay, so what can we say? And suppose this angle that is formed is suppose theta. Let's call this theta. So using Sokatoa, cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is x over one, which implies your x is cos theta x is equal to cos theta. Okay, and same, similarly, using Sokatoa, I can say sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which is one. So this implies y is equal to sine theta. So your Cartesian coordinate x, y can change into a trig form. So instead of saying x, you can say x is x is cos theta and y is sine theta. So I'll write it write it here so that you can see. So this same thing, x y is same as saying cos theta, comma sine theta. Okay, so x is cos theta and y is sine theta. So from one, what did we write in one? We wrote x squared plus y squared is one and we wrote x is cos theta and y is sine theta. So let me write one again, x squared plus y squared is one. Okay, now we know x is cos theta, so in place of x I can write cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to one. So this is the basic trig identity. So let me call this, say result two. This is, okay, uh, one of the most commonly used trig identity. Sine squared, cos squared plus sine squared is one. Now dividing by cos squared. Now if you divide each of the term by cos squared, what will happen? Dividing by cos squared theta. Cos squared theta by cos squared theta is one plus sine squared by cos squared is tan squared theta. So one plus tan squared theta is equal to six squared theta. So this is say the third identity, one plus 10 squared is six squared. Okay, so let me say the dividing one by cos theta or cos squared theta. Now if you divide one by sine squared theta, dividing one by sine squared theta, what can we do? We can say, well, if you divide cos squared by sine squared, it becomes cot squared theta. 
cot squared theta plus sine squared by sine squared is 1 is equal to 1 over sine squared is cosecant squared or cosec squared theta. So this is your fourth identity. Okay, so now these are very basic identities which are used. Uh, if you know these identities, is very useful. Now I want to prove one more uh, result which is very useful. Now suppose let me extend this to the other side. Suppose if you extend it to the other side or uh, in the fourth quadrant, this quad, if this is P X Y, can I suppose let me call this P dash. P dash, what will be the, okay, so let me draw this angle. So going anti-clockwise is positive by, by convention. If you go anti-clockwise, that is a positive angle. And if you go clockwise, that's a negative angle. So this is negative theta. Okay, so we saw x is cos theta and y is sine theta. So using geometry, the coordinate of p dash, p dash is a reflection of p, where your x-axis is the line of symmetry or the mirror line. So the coordinate, the x-coordinate would remain the same. So that is x comma negative y. The p dash is the mirror of p. So the coordinate would be x comma negative y. So using the same Soka Toa, can I say cos of minus theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is x over 1. So we can say cos theta or cos of negative theta is equal to x. And what is x? x is cos theta. So this is a very useful result. Cos of negative theta is equal to cos theta. That means, what does this mean? This means cos of minus 30, this implies to give you an example, this means cos of minus 30 is equal to cos 30. So if you think uh, in a, using symmetry, your cos is corresponding to the x coordinate. The x coordinate doesn't change in the first and the fourth quadrant. Okay, so if you go an angle of theta or you go an angle of negative theta, your x coordinate is remaining the same. So let me show this on a calculator. So let me set this. Let me go on menu and change this into degrees. Okay, so if you type in cos theta, cos 30 is 0.8 something, 86. And if you go cos of minus 30, will give you the same answer. Okay, so this is one very important result. What about sine minus theta? <laughs> sine of minus theta, sine of minus theta is opposite. So this is your opposite. Your opposite is negative y. So it's negative y over 1. So we can say sine theta or sine of negative theta is equal to negative y. So what does that mean? What is y? y is sine theta, which implies, you can say sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta. Sine of minus theta is minus sine theta, which implies uh, an example can be, uh, say cos, sorry, example can be sine of minus 30 is equal to minus sine of 30. Sine 30 you should know is half. So if it goes sine of minus 30, that would be negative half. So this implies, this implies this would be uh, sine of minus 30 is minus sine 30. So let me show this on a calculator. So sine of 30, sine 30 you should know is half okay and if you go if you go sine of minus 30 that would be negative half okay so this is again a very important result 
sine of minus theta is minus sine theta and cos of minus theta is cos theta. 